Hey guys, Matt here. This is my review of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, or Jurassic World 2. This movie is directed by J.A. Biona, who previously directed The Orphanage and The Impossible. This movie stars Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard. In this Jurassic World sequel, Claire is approached by an older benefactor to the Jurassic Park program, and she's asked to go back to the island from the first Jurassic World movie because there's a volcano that's going to erupt and kill all the remaining dinosaurs. So she enlists the help of Owen Grady, played by Chris Pratt, and they decide to go back to the island to try to rescue the dinosaurs, especially Owen's favorite raptor, Blue. If you're excited about seeing Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom and you haven't seen any of the trailers, beware. Do not watch them, for they give away too much of the movie. Now going into this, I wasn't too excited because as they make more and more Jurassic Park movies, they kind of are going to run out of ideas. You know, how many times can you, you know, sell the concept of, hey, let's make a safe thing involving dinosaurs and it turned dangerous. And they must have run out of ideas with this one because this movie has a lot, if not too many similarities to The Lost World Jurassic Park. The first Jurassic World was more or less copy and paste of the first Jurassic Park, and this sequel is a copy of that sequel. I don't want to sound too negative at the beginning of this review, but unfortunately the negative just outweigh the positive when it comes to this movie. One of the few highlights is we get to see Dr. Ian Malcolm again, which is nice. He's only at the beginning and the end of the movie. And there are some scenes that try to evoke emotion, which is nice because the rest of the movie is crap. This movie follows too many similar beats from Lost World Jurassic Park, and it also has too many scenes from the original and really all the other movies that it's like they've run out of ideas, including an intelligent dinosaur trying to open the handle of a door, or a girl trapped in a shaft trying to close the shutter, or even the same exact idea from the previous movie where they take multiple dinosaurs' DNA, they try to create this creature because that's not going to backfire, right? And the chemistry between Owen and Claire just isn't there like it was in the previous movie. And a couple of the side characters are forgettable. And some of the character decisions are just laughably stupid. So, because this movie could have been a lot better or just not made at all, but it was, we've got to deal with it. So, I'm going to give Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom a D. Till next time, guys. See ya.